why did I come here? I came here for two reasons. One, there is a new government, not new anymore for you, but I have not met with them officially yet, so Greece is an important partner of my organization, so I wanted to meet with them in a more organized manner, and two, because of course, the higher number of new arrivals at, uh, in the islands in particular um, is of great concern, and uh, I wanted to see this by myself. I went to Lesbos, as I said, and uh, although the numbers are smaller than they were four years ago during my first visit, I found the conditions in which uh, people live um, extremely disturbing. Um, very inadequate access to basic services, a situation of generalized tension often resulting in violence, especially violence against uh, minors, violence within the communities themselves, but because of the situation, the most penalized are certainly women and uh, children, and, uh, and especially the high number of unaccompanied, uh, unaccompanied uh, children. And a very uh, big sense of despair and um, lack of uh, prospects that uh, uh, makes the situation um, even more um, worrying and, and difficult. And uh, also, I found that the impact on the local communities is increasing. And uh, the patients, the hospitality that still characterize very much the response four years ago when I came um, is, not, is now um, less visible than before. And uh, certainly, there is more uh, um, um, reluctance to accept these large numbers of people uh, coming into the country. I, I said it in Parliament today, I want to repeat it now, there is a children emergency in this country, a, a children on the move emergency on this in this country that needs to be tackled. That the argument that the presence of NGOs, NGO boards, vessels, um, tasked with saving lives, the argument is because the NGOs are there, more people take risks and go on the move. The statistics prove that there is no correlation. The government has planned to improve or even create new sites in the islands for smaller numbers of people because many would have moved to the mainland. Uh, there's been a lot of discussion about that because the government has been using the expression closed sites. And uh, the debate has been, you know, would they be uh, detention centers? So I made it clear to the government that UNHCR's policy, not just in Greece, anywhere, is against detaining asylum seekers. Seeking asylum is not a crime, so people should not be detained. But of course the government has uh, a legitimate right to establish a control of this population. Control is not detention. If control is detention, then we do not agree. If control is that you know there is better registration, better uh, discipline in the way these sites are managed, that is of course positive. How will these sites be? I don't know. We don't know yet, we haven't seen plans. We told the government that this is our position and uh, we will see what happens. But any improvement in the living condition, better access to services, health in particular, which speaking to refugees is really the main issue for most of them, is extremely urgent. So Europe has to have a new system that is based more on sharing, on responsibility sharing. And we will continue to promote that with all of European states, or at least some European states. We need to find solutions because, and Greece needs to help us with that and will help us with that because it stands to benefit from such a system if the flow unfortunately continues. So we will also be I committed to the government to continue being a strong advocate for Greece in European and international institutions in respect of the refugee issue.